Sharp is found not guilty, the Spanish will never believe us or trust us again. They want justice. I think they should get it, sir. Whatever the verdict. Major Sharp. Lieutenant Top of Jones, sir. Your defending officer. Been here long, have you? Two months, sir. Have you done this before? <sighs> Could you tell us what the letter says, Major Mendora? In English, if you please. <laughs> My dear Paolo. What I have to tell you pains my heart and will wound you deeply. I have fled because of the unwelcome attentions of Major Richard Sharp. <coughs> he has pestered me at every opportunity with the shameful suggestions and indecent invitations. I have to tell you that further to this, on the night of the 16th of April, Major Sharp appeared at our home in a state of drunkenness. He forced his way into our house and begged me to sleep with him. I've never met the woman. Major Sharp, <coughs> I will have silence in this court. Is that clear? Go on, please, Major Mendora. He said that there was only one woman in the world for him, and that was me. And if he had to kill you to have me, then so be it. Thank you, Major Mendora. Could you tell the court, please, what happened after the Marquis received the letter? Major Sharp refused to apologize, so there was a duel. And this duel came to an abrupt end, did it not? It was stopped, yes. But Major Sharp was roaring at this time. Roaring? He was cursing and vowing that he would kill the Marquis. In a duel. Thank you, Major Mendora. Mr. Trumper Jones. Major... <clears throat> Major Mendora, you have a vested interest in seeing Major Sharp hang, have you not? No. You were gravely insulted by Major Sharp before this... sword practice. Objection, sir. It was a duel. A duel forbidden by Lord Wellington. Mr. Trumper Jones, you will refer to the duel as the duel. Is that clear? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Major Mendora, did Major Sharp not insult your manhood when he threatened to tan your ass? I did not hear that. You're a liar! Major Sharp! Major Sharp! Gentlemen, you may not be, but you will behave like one in this court. Is that clear? Please, sir. Where's Nan? Where the hell is he? We've heard from the Spanish guard at the Marquis' quarters that he saw a British rifle officer with a straight sword leave there at three o'clock this morning. Can you explain that? I slept right through till dawn, sir. But you have no witnesses to swear to that. I did not kill him. So you keep telling us, Major Sharp. You also keep telling us that you have never met the Marquis, sir. Yet here we have a letter from her to her husband, a nobleman of Spain, detailing violent, repellent advances by you on her. Perhaps you could tell us why she would say this. I don't know. She's lying. <laughs> 